name is David, and in today's video, we're going to try something new using Ghost by Toner and Toner Transfer. Um, as you can see, we've got our balloons ready, and um, in the midst of the wedding season this summer, we are going to try to transfer a print from this Canon Little Ghost White Toner printer with a Ghost White Toner cartridge installed onto a hot air balloon. Um, we've, we've tried that before, as you can see. Um, and we will show you how you can do this and which things you should keep in mind when you try this. So before we start printing, I'm just going to quickly check if I've got my white toner cartridge installed and if I've got my transfer paper in the printer. For this application, we're going to use the laser dark transfer media. Um, many of you might be familiar with it. It's a transparent media, which we call the A-foil which has um, one shiny and one matte surface. The matte surface is the side you're actually going to print on. So I open the bottom tray of the printer and I'm just inserting one A-foil with the matte side facing up. And that's the B-sheet, which contains like an adhesive we're going to use when we go to the heat press. All right, I've got my design here on the screen. It's typical Mr. and Mrs. wedding um, design. And as you see, you, we've got our um, Mrs. here, so we're gonna print Mr. now. Here's the design. Um, it's a PDF file, and we're going to print um, from Adobe Acrobat. Really recommend printing from PDF files. Um, makes things much easier. All right, so I'm um, going to hit the print button. I'm going to quickly walk through my settings. I've got my little ghost printer selected here and I've already checked the box to print in grayscale. Um, I'm just going to double check my paper settings. I go to details and I go to paper tab. And in the paper tab, I select cassette one or draw one and I select normal two as my paper type. And then I quickly flip over to quality and I just make sure that we are printing a transfer and it's selected that the image will be printed in mirror image mode and as color, We've got also the color mode, black and white selected. That's all the settings you need. So I'm just gonna hit print and have the print run through. There you go. Print's ready. As you know, um, we get a fantastic print. Um, if you watch it from the shiny side, it's all right. If you watch it from the other side, it's in mirror image mode. That's actually the mode we need. So normally, we would now go to the heat press with the B paper, place the A-foil on the lower plate of our heat press and press it um, together to marry it with the B paper. Um, we will not do this in this video um, because for printing on these delicate materials, I really have to put the temperature of my heat press down. So pressing these two papers together and then separating them on the heat press is done at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius. Pressing the final thing onto the hot air balloon, which is a very delicate, thin plastic material, is done at a low temperature at around 100 to 105 degrees. And we're doing this at a super high pressure and for a very, very short amount of time, just about eight to 10 seconds. So as I'm not going to heat up my press all the way to 160 and have you guys waiting all the way till it comes down to 100 degrees, I have prepared a print that has already been married with the A and the B sheet. You can easily know this by just feeling over the print, it feels kind of sticky. So the only thing I now have to do is cut out Mr. 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 Quickly do that. I also cut along the edges of my design because sometimes it leaves some indention from the B paper and I don't want that to transfer. All right, once I'm done with this, I can go to my heat press and handy to pull out the tray. I've covered the lower plate just to make sure that if something goes wrong, the balloon melts or some color transfers, it doesn't ruin my heat press. Place the balloon, align the design, super easy, transparent media as you know. And I've got two matte finish sheets ready to put over the design. And now um, we're going to, I give you temperatures before, put them down into the description as well. We're quickly doing this. So I close the heat press, make sure that the balloon is 
fully covered. And then I just close my heat press 100 degrees Celsius. As you can see, super heavy pressure. We've got the timer running, just counting down 10 seconds. And then I'm going to release my heat press, pull it open, remove the whole thing, and have us waiting and see if this is going to be a good print or not. As you probably know, the print has to be completely cool before I peel off the A-foil. You can see it, I wave it a little bit, um, but I will wait until it's like super completely cold because if I do this while there's still some like heat left in the material, I will tear off my print. Okay, now that our design is cool to the touch, we're going to give it a try and peel. So as usually when you peel, start at one of the edges of the design, lift it off gently, and then apply some pressure with your fingers and make a rolling motion over the design. And as you can see, it comes off quite nicely. And you just will easily and smoothly roll over your design. Make sure. Yeah. Sometimes you need to move around a little bit if it doesn't come off immediately. And now once you're fine, you can just smoothly roll it out like I do. And we've got a clean, perfect transfer. Nothing left on the A-foil. So this comes into trash. And now we've got a hot air balloon. But it's just a balloon now. Uh, we need some hot air or some gas to fill it in. So I'm taking my gas bottle and I'm giving it a try. So the main trick with this is you're pressing at super high pressure with super low temperature. And the thing is, as this is a very delicate material, you just want to make sure that you don't burn the material so that the two sides of the balloon, which are now going to be filled with gas, are not sticking together and it still can fill it. So um, depending on the material of the balloons that you can get your hands on, I think these are just cheap ones somewhere bought on the internet, um, it might vary a little bit in your settings. But uh, we just want to show you that it's possible. So let's give it a try. It's got a valve on the back side here. I just stick it in. All righty. Okay, open this thing. And now let's see. Oh. Okay. There you go, hot air balloon. Come on, buddy. All righty. Looks like we're there. It's pretty good. So we've got Mister to our missus. And as you can see, this balloon really um, blows up nicely. We've got a transfer on it. And, you know, I mean, these are single piece items. So in this video, we're not talking about washability, but it's definitely going to last uh, as long as your wedding day, as long as your guys celebrating. And you can put these together and yeah, really have a nice transfer, really have nice balloons here. Um, I really hope you like this video, find it helpful. I will put a link down in the description below. Um, to all the transfer media that we've been using. Of course, to our Little Ghost White Toner and our Little Ghost White Toner Printer. Remember, Little Ghost Toners or Ghost White Toner cartridges are interchangeable cartridges and available for uh, many, many different printers. So please make sure to check our website, check if maybe we've got a white toner cartridge for your printer too. So if you liked the video, please leave us a thumbs up below. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notified when we put out new videos on this channel. For today, I say thanks for watching and see you next time.